this video, I'm going to show you how to, we're going to learn how to use the um, curvature tool in Adobe Illustrator. Um, it's a little bit like the pen tool, but probably slightly easier and it works slightly different. Um, we're going to, so I'm going to show you how to create a trace drawing from an existing um, sketch or an existing picture or image or something like that. So first of all, if you want to go into an open Adobe Illustrator and then let's just go to file and new. And, sorry, I'm working on my double screen at home. And this box will come up here. Let's just choose the art and illustration preset. And I'm going to scroll down. And I don't want a very big document. I'm just going to choose this one, 800 by 600 pixels. Click that one and click create. Actually, before we do that, what I'll get you to do is this. I'll just do that quickly again. Go back in here. Um, art and illustration, let's choose this one and let's go to artboards and let's make four artboards and what that's going to do is it's going to kind of make four canvases for us that we can um, play around with and I'll show you at the end what you can do with those boards. Um, so I'm just going to scroll up to here and I'm going to hold command and plus to zoom in, command and plus and then I'll hold the space bar down to get my move tool and click and drag so that this uh, canvas is in the middle of the screen and now there's an image of a leaf that I want to put in here it's just a little pencil sketch and I'll get you guys to use the same one and which I'll share with you so in Illustrator if we go to file and we go to place and I've got the image of the leaf here and click place and I'm just going to click hold and drag it to how big I want it maybe about this big will do all right. Um, now, this is just a um, simple pencil sketch of a leaf. And what I'm going to do is we're going to use the curvature tool to t turn this into a graphic. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is over here, if, we, if you have a look, we, we've got our properties panel and layers panel. So um, once we've got this to the size we want, we want to just lock the layer so that we can't edit this and we can't move it so that it's in place. And then we're going to go down the bottom here and create a new layer and click this button here. And that's going to give us a new layer and we're going to do all our um, drawing on top of this. So basically we're just going to trace this sketch here. All right, so the curvature tool is this one here and it looks a little bit like the pen tool. So if you select that, Okay, and that will bring it up here. Now, it's a little bit tricky to get used to, and look, it's just going to be a bit of trial and error and um, playing around on your part to get it right, but um, it's not too hard once you get the hang of it. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here with Command and Plus so I can see things better, and I'll just give you a quick demo of how it works. Um, all right, so basically this draws curves. So if I click once, and then I move the cursor over here, and I click again, and then I start, and then I move the mouse, you can see that the line starts to curve. All right, and I click again, and I drag the mouse out, and I can move it up and down, and I can get all these nice curves going on, um, which are really smooth, nice smooth flowing lines, okay? So I could get a really nice line going on here, um, and if that's all I wanted, I could um, press V on the keyboard, and that will get the move tool and that will um, close the stop drawing for me and leave me just with the line. But at the moment I've got fill selected so I'm just going to go back into properties here and I'm going to go into fill just in appearance here, double click that and open it and just click this button here with a stroke on it and that's going to just leave the line or the stroke showing. Okay so you can see I've created a line there. All right. Now, what I could do also with the tool is I could curve, 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 and then if I join it up like this, it will create, close the path, and it will make a shape. And um, we'll talk more about paths and shapes in class. All right. But let's delete this and let's get started. I'll go back to the move tool. Um, delete that. Let's get started on tracing this leaf. Um, all right. So I might start just on the end here. I'll click once and I'll come down here. I might click again. Uh, just one more thing before we start. You can draw straight lines with the curve tool if you want to. Now the way to do that is if you um, 
want a straight line from here on your next line, for example, you could just hover over the last end anchor point and double click, and then your next line will be a straight one. And I'll click once and then it's a curved one, okay? If I want a straight line, come back here, double click, and like that, okay? All right, let's start with this. I might even just start with the, um, a nice straight line to begin with. And oh, it's not gonna give you a straight line, but anyway. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're just going to want to, actually, you're just going to want to click in. Oh, let me start that one again. I'll go back, Command Z will go back. Um, I'll start here, I might come up here a little bit, then I might put another anchor point there. Um, and I'll click with my mouse there. Now this isn't going to be perfect. You kind of just follow the drawing and click along, all right? Now when I've gone a little bit up, further up here, what I might do is you'll notice that there are some areas here which, which aren't working out. So what you can do is you can go back with the, um, with the tool and you can click uh, on the line and that will add another anchor point there and I can I'll click and drag it and then I can move it so that it better fits okay so do you see that I can even go one back to existing ones and I can kind of play around with the anchor points move them around add them as I need them see this line's way out of whack there so I could bring that right down I might even bring that down a little bit more like that um, now before I go any further I am going to change the color of the stroke by clicking here so that we can see it better. I'm going to make it purple. Um, there we go, now we can actually see the line that I'm drawing. All right, and now that that's happy, I'm happy with that. That's probably not ideal there, so I might just do that. Anyway, you can fiddle around with it and get it as perfect as you want. Um, so I'll click down here. I'm going, to, I'm going to maybe click up here. I'm going to maybe click just down here. It's just a bit of practice and trial and error. Um, and I'm going to click once there, click down here. Now, this line's going to need to be adjusted, so I'm going to bring this, make an anchor point about here. And I'll bring one here just to get that line curving a bit. Bring that in there. Could even add another one there if I wanted to, but I'm going to be a bit lazy. All right, and let's just keep going along with our curves. Adding a point, pushing the line across. Um, we can keep going up here. Sometimes you don't have to do too much to the line. Other, other times you have to come back and add a point in, just like that. Okay, uh, all right. What you'll do is you'll go all the way, trace all the way around the leaf, and then when you get back to here, um, you will join the lines together to make a shape. Um, so what I might do is I might go back over to my other document to show you how that looks. I can find it, here it is. Okay, so that is, if I go back to my layers, that's the outline of the leaf um, joined together. Okay, and so you can see if I zoom right in, you've got a nice um, clean, crisp and curvy line for that graphic. Um, all right, and the next thing we want to do is, if I go back just to have a look at the picture of the leaf, we want to join the draw the um, the veins of the leaf, and I'll show you a quick way how to do that just on this example here. Um, if I get the picture back, this these eyes here will show and hide a layer, and the padlock will lock a layer so that I can't edit it. But make sure you're on the second layer, the you drawing layer, and with the pen tool, what you can do is you can also, if you draw a single line if you want to, so zoom, zoom in one more time. I just want to draw this main line here um, and then I might just click once here and I might click once there to draw a line and then I might add an anchor point here and bring it down and I've got, I need to go into properties because I've got the fill on and the stroke is off for some reason, which we don't want. So I'm gonna make that line, that dark purple that I was using, I think it was that one for this picture, this graphic. Um, so I might add another anchor point here, pop it up a bit, I could probably bring one here just to make this line a bit more curvy and so that it flows a bit better and it follows the line some more, there we go. Um, all right, now if that's all I want, I just want that there, I'll just press uh, v on the keyboard and that will go back to my move tool 
and it will create the line for us. So if I hide the bottom layer, that you can see that line there. Okay, now it doesn't look that great at the moment, but what you can do is you can do it for all of the veins. So if I go back, um, again, we can do this vein here, add a path, and that's probably enough for that one. Press the V tool and just hide it and there's our vein like that. Okay, now it doesn't look that great, but what you can do with these lines, once you've drawn them all, you can select one of them, and if we go back into our properties over here, and if you click stroke the word itself, um, you'll get some options here. So, uh, first of all, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker, so the weight, I might go up to two points, instead of one point, it could go up to three, I think three is a bit too much. Um, and then you can change the profile. So instead of just a normal straight line, you could choose one of these simple basic profiles here. And well, that makes your line look just a little bit nicer. See how it's fatter in the middle and it tapers down at the end? And so you could do that for all of your lines if you wanted to. And you could experiment with the other ones as well. And you could experiment with um, how thick you want the lines also and then you could move it so that it looks a bit more like it's part of the graphic like on like the end line touching that line um, and that looks a lot, lot nicer now I could select the whole leaf here and I could also go back into stroke and I could play around with um, uh, the shape of the line and the thickness as well which you know you might find something that looks quite nice but for the case of this I won't um, now if I go back I just go over to this, this is the advantage of having a number of artboards. Um, if I go back over to this artboard here, uh, this graphic here, um, I'll just hide the stroke for a minute. And you can see um, I've drawn all the vein lines on that leaf and they look quite nice. Now, what I also did with this one was I selected the outside shape and I gave it a fill and I think I just chose like a tan colour or something like that from the swatches. If you wanted to go into your colour mixer you could and you could you know choose different colours from here and you can also play around with the sliders to get an exact colour. Um, but I think the colour up here looked kind of cool like an autumn type of a leaf. If I zoom out you can see that. All right. So I think that's basically it. Now, if I the, the reason why I got you to set up uh, four artboards at the beginning was so that once you've got a design finished like I have over here, what you can actually do is if you select it all by dragging out a marquee over it, um, and we can basically we could copy and paste that or we could clone it. So if you hold Option on the keyboard. Watch what happens to the mouse, uh, the cursor when I roll over the leaf, it turns into like a double white and black cursor. And then if I click, hold and drag and bring that down here, all right, it creates a clone of it. So option and clicking, holding and dragging will clone something. And it does it for Photoshop as well and, and most of the other Adobe programs. So once you've done that, once you've got a clone of it and you've got it on a new artboard, you could experiment with, you could change the colours of the lines if you wanted to. So sorry, that's the wrong button. For example, if I want green lines there, I could change all my lines uh, to that green colour. It's probably a quicker way to do it. They're doing it one, on, one by one. And, you know, I could play around. I could change um, green colour to use that green colour. So there's... All my lines would be that green colour, and if I don't quite like the fill colour, I could, you know, experiment with that also. Like a blue or something. Okay, and then when you, and you know, so you could play around, you could also play around with the, um, you know, the thickness, the width of the stroke, and, and, and all kinds of things like that and so then you can have four different designs going on that are the same but you know different color scheme different weighted lines etc okay so um, grab the image of a leaf and um, have a go at it